All right, the last time I did a guild review was in August of 2019, and I'm pretty sure it's been so long that there's people on this channel who have never even seen this series before, and yet you guys have still requested this for ages. In the past few months, this guild has grown and grown, even passing my own guild, Raid, and it still keeps climbing. Plenty of you already know it, and that's partially because many of my viewers make up spots in this guild. You might not have heard of them a year ago, but they're becoming more and more well-known by the month. So, fellow YouTube viewers, sit back, get some popcorn, don't forget to like and subscribe, and watch as we examine a guild that has gone from 13th to 5th on the guild leaderboards, and is now even challenging the foundation as an example of how the underdog can always succeed. Today we are going to be answering the question, should you join the Bravo Guild? Haha. <laughs> Or so you thought. You see, I started this script about two weeks ago, and just as I was about to finish it, I found out today that the Bravo Guild is no more. They have actually changed their name to Matrix, and have been doing a lot of guild maintenance. More on this later in the video. For right now, I'm going to be reviewing Bravo, how I remembered it, but unfortunately a lot of the screenshots are going to be under the Matrix Guild right now. So, as confusing as this is, today we're going to be answering the question, should you join the Bravo slash Matrix Guild? Let's begin. Thank you to Scromper for my amazing new channel art and being a sponsor for this video. He's currently making stunning Minecraft banners and profile pictures that you can pick up for low prices. If you're looking for an eye-catching Minecraft profile pic or banner for your YouTube or Twitter with only a few days delivery, check him out at Graphics Banners on Fiverr. To learn more, click the link in the description. How's it going everyone, my name is Omicron, and today we're going to be reviewing and answering the question, should you join the Bravo slash Matrix guild? If you're new to this channel or this series, basically I review a bunch of Hypixel guilds to see if they're worth joining. Guilds are one of the best aspects of Hypixel because they offer plenty of in-game perks, allow you to play with and meet new friends, and create valuable communities that make the Hypixel experience more than just Minecraft minigames. And consequently, because of these aspects, it's important to take a look at the guild you want to join before you join it. As always, this video is not a promotion, I am not a part of this guild, and this video is just an analysis. I also try to go into this review with an unbiased opinion, and Bravo, or Matrix's, review will be no different than other reviews on this channel. Oh my god, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> I will also be explaining the guild maintenance and name change during the latter half of the video. So without further ado, let us commence the guild review. Hey, that rhymed. Bravo slash Matrix was created in May of 2014, which was about the same time as the creation of a lot of other legacy guilds on Hypixel. Originally, it was named DDF, which was then switched to Bravo, and now Matrix. It achieved a legacy rank of 13 when the guild update was made, but since then, it has risen up to number 5 and level 68 during the recording of this video. This guild is not a game-specific guild, and many of their members play many different games. However, the more popular games among its members include Bed Wars, Skyblock, Skywars, and most notably, Duels. Okay, so currently, Matrix sits at 94 players, but when I was initially writing the script last week, it was at 124 members, and this is for private reasons. While the current member list is scrolling, let's go over the more notable players, like usual. So, here's the problem. When I first wrote this script, the two notable players were Stone with an X instead of an O, and Worldcom, who are both helpers. However, in the guild, both of them have been demoted, according to Clickified, a guild captain I talked to. I don't know if they're still a part of the guild family or not, however. The entire guild has been led by Arna Diff, a level 112 MVP plus over several years. The guild members Hi and Kobe Lee have been a part of the guild for almost three years, and the guild captains help maintain the guild and guild XP requirements. Okay, sorry if that was a bit confusing. The entire point is, not a whole lot of more notable players known across the server compared to the other guilds I've reviewed. Finally, as far as contact information goes, most of the stuff is the same. The guild has a Discord and a forums page where you can learn more about the guild and how to apply. More on that later. By the way, if you look up Bravo on Plonk or the Hypixel forums, you'll come across a different guild. Apparently after Bravo changed its name to Matrix, 123 Beat My Meat stole the name back from them, so just in case you haven't noticed, that's a different guild from the one that I'm talking about. The links for Matrix will be in the description. Now that we are done with the stats, let's go into the analysis and my own opinion. So, the guild name change is a little awkward, but aside from that, this is a damn impressive guild to be a part of. Personally, I came to know Bravo because of you guys. A lot of my subscribers and donators are members, and from what I've seen by playing with them, they're certainly skilled at PvP and various bedwars and duels techs. 
As I mentioned, about a year ago, the Bravo Guild held the legacy rank of 13, it wasn't even in the top 10. But with the hard effort and grinding of its many dedicated players, it has risen to the same tier as phenomenal guilds such as Rebel, The Foundation, and Rar. What sets this guild apart from its leaderboard rivals, however, is that it is truly the underdog. There are few to no staff players, not many players that are prominent on multiple leaderboards, and especially not many players that are above Hypixel level 200. Compare this to the foundation where there have been staff, YouTubers, and plenty of leaderboard players with a black level 250 MVP+. These players of Bravo slash Matrix are the underdogs who specialize in newer games like Bed Wars, Skyblock, and Duels rather than a lot of the classic and older games, which older players tend to specialize in. But at the end of the day, Guild XP is still Guild XP, and these players can grind the same amount of guild XP in just Bed Wars rather than a bunch of different games on the server. And, well, the results speak for themselves. To give you a little more perspective on what sets this guild and other leaderboard guilds apart, I've noticed a trend about most Hypixel guilds. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't apply to every guild on the network, but this sort of pattern has emerged whenever I've compared guilds based on their player experience. Generally, the guilds made up of older legacy players like RAR or The Foundation tend to be more skilled at game sense, they play smarter, and they have a wide range of tools and tricks at their disposal for almost every game on the network. They tend to have good stats across the board, have a lot of connections with various minigame communities, and have guilds that specialize in several games across the network. On the downside, however, However, they usually don't grind the newer games as often and stick to the older games on the network. On the other hand, newer underdog guilds like Bravo slash Matrix or Offensive are made up of recent lower level players who are very skilled but only in a few game modes, and they play very aggressively with high risk, high reward playstyles. They tend to have great stats in Bed Wars, Skyblock, Skywars, and Duels as a few examples, they have few connections with minigame communities, and they have guilds that specialize in only a few games. They also tend to be the first ones on the leaderboards whenever a new game comes out. On their downside, they don't have as much server experience and don't play the lesser known games on Hypixel. Again, this doesn't apply to everyone and there are a lot of individual players who are in the middle, but you will see this trend pop up in most guilds. To sum it up, guilds like the Foundation, RAR, and Rebel are like the Hypixel boomers for their dedicated long amount of Hypixel experience, while these less experienced guilds are like the angsty millennials of the server. <laughs> there are ups and downs for both types, but you should use what type of player you are as a factor in deciding which type of guild you would want to join. So what causes underdog guilds like Bravo slash Matrix to be lower level and be less notable in the community? Well, again, players that are newer to the server tend to play the games that are more popular, and usually the more popular games are the newer games like Skyblock and Bed Wars. As a result, many of these good players can quickly rise to the top after being on the server for less than a year. They tend to be lower level because of their lack of experience on the server and also because they don't quest. Since a lot of these older legacy guilds like the Foundation play a lot of different games, they can achievement grind and complete quests, which rewards a lot of XP and allows them to level up faster. This is why you see more black MVP pluses and gray MVP pluses in guilds like the Foundation than guilds like Offensive or Bravo slash Matrix. However, this isn't necessarily a bad thing for the underdog guilds. The underdog guilds are determined and specialized, which gives them an edge in what they play. And at the end of the day, guild XP is just guild XP no matter what games you play. Let's talk about Bravo slash Matrix specifically. In terms of grinding guild XP, this guild is a lot more serious than other guilds I've reviewed. In their Discord, you can find a table of how much guild XP each Hypixel game gives per game. Guild members are also asked to grind around 100,000 guild XP and play at least 3 days a week. Failing to meet these or being inactive for 5 days will result in a kick. It's more or less this kind of determination and efficiency that has allowed Bravo to move up so fast on the leaderboards. How about the join requirements? So the original Bravo guild had pretty simple requirements. You had to be active, have discord, be 11 and over, achieve network level 50 or higher, have at least 1000 achievement points, and complete one of the additional game requirements listed here. Compared to a lot of the other guilds I've reviewed, these requirements are especially doable. However, do keep in mind that being a part of the guild is a commitment and you have to keep grinding in order to hold your spot. The guild is also pretty active in GVGs and guild events that strengthen the guild's community and are good recreation for guild members. Finally, let's talk about the current ongoing guild maintenance. I talked with Clickified, a guild captain, about the current state of the guild and he was kind enough to enlighten me on the situation. The name change was made because Bravo, quote, had a negative vibe to it, so the guild members answered a poll on what to change the guild's name to. Out of the names Matrix, Secure, and Redo, Matrix won by a landslide and has become the new name of the guild. With this 
revamp, Arnadif and the other guild staff are also revamping the guild, which will be ready by January 3rd, 2020. So as we go into the new year, keep an eye out for the Matrix guild. I'm fairly sure that a lot of the new guild requirements and details will be similar, but just in case, I have linked the Matrix forums page in the description, so if any new details arise, make sure to check them out there. To sum it all up, Bravo slash Matrix is one of the best underdog guilds out there. It doesn't need any flashy ranks or level 400 players or people that specialize in every game mode. Rather, these members are determined to rise up on the guild leaderboards and efficient in their execution. For them, grinding guild XP is one of their main focuses as high pixel players. If you are interested in the guild, check the links in the description, and if you do become a part of the new Matrix guild going into the new year, feel free to drop a comment below and good luck on your Matrix journey. But with all that said, thank you for watching my guild review of Bravo slash Matrix. If you enjoyed or thought it was informative, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and also check out previous guild reviews if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.